So good morning, good morning to all peace workers who meditated or will meditate with the rising sun. Today I'm not in Tamara, so I had to focus my consciousness to the stone circle. Maybe the same what we invite you to do, to come to know this place of uh, peace community. And today we represent the stone, which is the messenger of the prehistorical peace wisdom. He is specially standing for Europe and specially for this land, Portugal. And when I meditated this morning, I felt it so close that I could had the feeling I can touch the stone, this beautiful cosmogram, which was built by Marco Bogacnik. And so I try to connect and let the, this being speak in a way uh, that it's a me. And we uh, invited you also to really look to whom do you connect in your meditation and what kind of frequency comes from this energy, from this being, can be a tree, a bird, an animal, the land. And so for me it was the stone of Almendris, the connection, the messenger of Almendris. I am the messenger for prehistorical peace wisdom and I carry the memory of a time where war did not exist. In Portugal this land was called in the indigenous times the land of the dragon. And it was very deep connected with the wisdom of all beings and their connectedness. If you connect with me, you can find the memory of a real peace culture for thousands of years. And this memory, you can find it in books, you can study, but mainly you can find it also in your soul. Remember that every soul and also you have a kind of connectedness to the healthy origin of life and it's there in every time so i connect this peace wisdom with the wisdom of this time and you are invited to connect with this wisdom to find the energy which can which is steering you that we are living today in a culture of war is because we lost this kind of connectedness. So this stone invites me to remember, remember the healthy picture of your soul. So it's inviting us to connect with the autonomy of our life and a peace community can all only be rediscovered or rebuilt if ev every member finds back to his or her original task and wisdom. It's calling us and inviting us to connect with the steering organ which steers all life. If we watch uh, a tribe of bees, for example, or a tribe of birds, you can discover me. Who is conducting this tribe if the tribe is flowing in the sky and very sudden changes his or her direction? So this is the steering organ which is steering all life. It's not about domination, it's about connectedness. And every soul who finds back to this part where it can never be hurt uh, can find its path to connect with me. And by this humanity will find back to its real task to take care for all life, to stay in connectedness with all beings. So I'm representing this wisdom and specially invite you in this challenging time, be often enough in nature, listen deeply enough to your real thoughts, take care for your body, Especially in this time, it's so important that your cell system can remember the healthy picture. Your healthy is very dependent on the, on the thoughts, what you are thinking. 
And don't get lost in your mind. Find back to this deep connectedness where I can always guide you. And often, if you don't know how to act, find the way to become really silent. Don't act from panic. You know the word panic is com coming from pan, the whole, the wholeness. So don't be guided by panic, but relearn the trust to the steering power of life, which is sacred. And this week it's very important that uh, we can feel the power of spring here in South Europe, maybe stronger than in the North, but it's already there, it's in the air. Connect with this power and find the guidance. So find your inner center and from this power let life enter and help you, help us to find back to the real autonomy which is coming from connectedness. Only in this power we will find the natural hierarchy which is not dominated but which finds this connectedness where we know that we are an organ of the whole and by becoming this organ and by taking